Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to compare the use of VLOOKUP and DGET functions in Excel. Consider the example of finding a set of values for a given condition name that is set equal to Alex. Let's start with the VLOOKUP function. We can type VLOOKUP, follow the arguments accordingly. Firstly, we have the lookup value, that is the condition, which is this name. If we wish to obtain a set of values for the corresponding aspect, we should fix this cell, since this condition is going to be applied for other aspects as well. To fix a cell, we press the function key F4 on the keyboard, comma, proceed to table array. We should always bear in mind that we look up will only refer the value in the first column of the table array. So we should select starting from name, press Ctrl, Shift, Right, followed by Ctrl, Shift, Down. And this table array will also be used for the rest of the aspects. So let's fix it, comma, press it to the column index number, where the value we wish to retain. For this case, since we want to retain the sex that is in the second column, we can type 2. However, since we are going going to apply the similar formula for the rest of the aspects. So I'm going to use a function to run through the number for column 2, 3, 4, and so on. There are a few functions that can help us to do so. I'm going to use the match function in this video. Firstly, we have the lookup value, that is the aspect. Although we have several aspects, all of them placed at the second row, so we can fix the number 2. To do so, press the function key F4 for several times until we only see a dollar sign in front of 2 but not K, comma the lookup array, that is the set of aspects that we have. When selecting the array, we should make sure that the number of columns is exactly the same as the table array in order to ensure that the correct number is written. Let's continue. I'm going to fix it since the rest of the aspects will also be using the same range, comma the match type. I'm going to select exact match for this case and now close bracket to end the match function, comma proceed to the range of lookup. Select the desired mode for this case. I'm going to use asset match. Close bracket and press enter and we should obtain the correct sex. Now let's move the cursor to the bottom right corner and drag so that we obtain a set of values correspond to the given aspects. If you wish to have exactly the same format as the data set, simply select any cell with the format. Now go to the home tab in the clipboard group, click on format painter. Next move the cursor to the cell and click it. And we should now have exactly the same format as we want. One of the common drawbacks in using VLOOKUP function is you are not able to obtain the value with the column that is before the lookup value. Even though we have extended the range to include the necessary aspect as we can see here. We would not have this issue if we are using the dget function. Let's try type equal to dget start with data base that is the data set. We could select the entire table but similarly we should also fix it, comma, press it to fill. That is the aspect that we are looking for. We should refer to the corresponding heading. And this will be fixed for this given row. So we fix only the number 6 but not K, comma, the criteria. That is the name. Remember to select together with the heading. That is very important. Then let's fix it. Close bracket and press enter. Unfortunately, we obtain the number error. We should bear in mind that the dget function retains number error when more than one value fulfill the given criteria. On the other hand, if we obtain value error, which means that none of these values from the set of data fulfill the criteria. In addition, unlike the VLOOKUP function, which measures the lookup value from the given table array, the dget function would find the given text starting from the first letter of a given string. For example, if you consider the text Alex with four letters, which means that from the given list of names, the get function will only match the first four letters. 
So from here, we could see that there are two names that fulfill the criteria Alex, that is number 7 Alex and number 8 Alexander. Both of them consist of Alex. Since more than one possibility is this number error written, to ensure that we read exactly the name Alex instead of typing the name Alex, we should type as a formula. Whenever we talk about formula, we should start with equal sign. And now type the criteria in terms of string. So we need quotation mark. And it should be exactly equal to Alex. Quotation mark and press enter. And we should now obtain the exact set that we want with only one possibility. Now click on the cell, move the cursor to the bottom right corner and drag. And we should obtain exactly the same set of values as we can see here. Besides, unlike the VLOOKUP function, the TGET function does not require the lookup value from the first column as we can see here. On the other hand, how let's say we are asked to look up a value that fulfill a given set of condition. Unfortunately, VLOOKUP couldn't do so, but TGET could. Let's try. For example, we would like to look up person who is male and born before 1985, but is aged more than 35 years old, with height at least 170 centimeters, and with weight at least 70 kilograms. Let's try to find out this person by using the DGET function. Also, start by selecting the database. It's optional whether we want to fix this range since we are looking for only one value. Comma, proceed to the field. We could select the cell or type the field as string, that is, name. Comma, proceed to the criteria. Remember to select criteria together with the heading. This is very important. Close bracket and press enter. Again, we obtain number error since there might be more than one possibility. Let's add another condition. Let's say the name should start from D and press enter. And we should now have the name where only the R fulfill all the criteria given. Besides, how let's say we would like to give a specific range but not simply at least 70 kilograms. For example, we would like to have at least 70 kilograms but less than 76 kilograms. Although referring to the same aspect, we still have to give a heading. And now let's change the range to include the new condition. Press enter and see the changes. We should observe that also the fulfill the conditions. Let's delete the letter D to see the changes. And we should notice that again, a number error obtained, which indicates more than one person fulfill all these conditions. But let's say we want to check on the person whose name starts with letter A. And this time, we will have Aaron who fulfill all the given criteria as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.